what i have written final equation okay the law of conservation of momentum the um, what i what i said according to law of conservation of momentum the total energy before collision according to according to law of conservation of momentum total energy the total energy before collision the total momentum total momentum before collision and the total energy or total momentum total momentum after collision what we can write from the diagram m1 u1 next m2 u2 next m1 v1 plus m2 v2 from the diagram we can write this one so bring m1 terms one side next m2 v2 minus m2 u2 okay take the common here also see which term we can take common here m1 you can take common here also m1 here also m2 is there here also m2 is there take this term common what i mean m1 u1 minus next what is that v1 next m2 is there next v2 is there next what is that u2 is there okay this is a can i this is the equation number one okay next according this this is about the only momentum okay next according to law of according to law of according to law of conservation of kinetic energy conservation of kinetic energy then total energy total energy of kinetic energy total kinetic energy before collision total kinetic energy before collision and total kinetic energy total kinetic energy after collision so what is the formula for kinetic energy you know very well 1 by 2 m v square 1 by 2 m1 u1 square next 1 by 2 m2 u2 square next 1 by 2 m1 v1 square next one by two m2 v2 square okay see here one by two is there here one by two is there take the common one by two both side m1 u1 square plus the m2 u2 square next m1 v1 square plus m2 v2 square here also take the common one by two then what happen one by two one by two gets cancelled then what is remaining m1 u1 square plus m2 u2 square see what is the next one m1 v1 square next m2 v2 square okay next same thing what you have done previously here we have what i did here simply i brought mosses one side which mosses m1 mosses same thing we have done here also see what is the first one here m1 u1 square next where is the m1 here m1 is there bring this side here also m1 here also m1 next m2 next here m2 m1 u1 square next m1 v1 square okay then keep this term this side only what is that m2 m2 v2 square next minus m2 u2 square okay now also take the common m1 what I mean if you take common m1 u1 square next what is the next one minus 
v1 square next equality is that equal symbol next which one you can take common m2 also here again m2 also here take the common m2 m2 next what i can write v2 square minus u2 square v2 square minus next u2 square okay this you can take the equation number two okay now how many equations we are having here we are having the two equations this is the first equation that is the second equations okay what i am doing simply the divide equation 2 divided by equation 1 so what i mean equation 2 means m1 u1 square minus v1 square equal to next m2 v2 square next u2 square okay divide where is the equation number one here equation number one same thing m1 u1 minus v1 next this side what is the next one m2 what is that tone v2 minus u2 okay so which term here gets cancelled m1 m1 gets cancelled m2 m2 order gets cancelled okay here what is there u1 minus v1 square u1 square minus v1 square by u1 minus v1 next here what is there next v2 square minus u2 square by v2 minus u2 okay so can i write this is a plus here what is this a minus b a square minus b square is there can i write the a plus b into a minus b then what i can get finally i can get the a square minus b square same thing u1 minus u square what i mean here u1 plus v1 into u1 minus v1 divided by next u1 minus v1 next v2 plus u2 into v2 minus u2 divided by v2 minus u2 okay now which term gets cancelled see denominator numerator which is the common one okay this is common this is common this is also common and this is also common then which one is remaining u1 plus v1 is equal to v2 plus u2 okay bring initial velocity side one side and final velocity is one side what happened here u1 minus u2 is equal to next v2 minus v1 so what are, what are, what is what is this here u1 minus u2 is equal to v2 minus v1 this we are calling that what is this indicate what is this indicating before collision next after collision okay here what happened here before collision they are approaching each other after collision what happened see u1 minus u2 and v2 minus vn so from this we have to find the velocities v1 velocity and next v2 velocity we have to find so here what is this u1 minus u2 and v2 minus v1 so from this we have to do that value v1 value and next v2 value okay what is this the uh, relative velocity before approach the collision 